Welcome to the RegPack Users Overview. This tutorial will help you get comfortable with managing information, using our filter and search tool, running reports, and sending emails to your registrants. Let's explore the basic elements of the Users module. If you have a family or group system, you'll see three tabs. Note that these tabs can be renamed by heading to Settings, Project Settings, and selecting from this dropdown. The first tab contains all of your registrants, both head and subunit level. The second tab contains just the head level. The third tab contains only the subunits, typically all of your registrants. If you have an individual system, however, you'll see all of your registrants in one tab. This is one of the coolest features in RegPack Flow, a user panel that will follow you anywhere in the system. To view all information for a specific registrant, simply click anywhere along the user bar to open their side panel. You can also easily navigate the tabs by clicking them here. In Info, Make quick edits to a user's information by hovering over the field and clicking Edit Value. Information that appears here will be the result of a setting in your reports called Info View. You can click Create New Info View to head to Reports and choose or edit a report to be seen here. In the Email tab, you can view emails sent to this user. Send a new email by clicking Send New Email at the bottom. Add a comment only seen by admins in this tab to easily keep track of notes on your user. Add, remove, view, and edit this user's forms under Forms. In the Cart tab, easily add, edit, or remove products and discounts to the user or simply view what they have ordered. The Payments tab will allow you to process payments as well as view all previously made payments. The Tools button will allow you to do a few things like add a status to your users, add forms, add products, send emails, view forms, and run reports. Note that if you select multiple users, you can perform all of these actions in bulk. You can apply a status to a user here or here. Statuses can be used to group users or consider them accepted, and you can also trigger things to happen based upon a status, such as an email going out or forms added to their application, just to name a few. To hide users who are no longer active or are test users, you can apply a status that archives them. Simply turn user inactive when in the status to yes when creating a new status and apply it to your excluded users. Our search feature allows you to type a partial or whole name of a user, field, answer to a field, and anything you can think of. This is also where you'll begin filtering for users using our robust dynamic filtering feature. Filter by ordered products, payments, field answers, and whatever you'd like by either searching for the item of your choice or navigating this menu. You'll be able to stack search conditions of any kind to narrow down your users to your exact specifications. Filter for users who have ordered a certain product or another product and have yet to pay for either product, for instance. The possibilities are limitless. A set of conditions is called a filter block. The filter block will default all conditions to AND, requiring every condition to be met for the user to appear. You can switch a set of conditions to OR by clicking the blue AND button here. Change your filter options by using the drop-down specific to each condition here. Add a condition by clicking Add Condition here. Add a filter block by clicking Add Filter Block next to the Add Condition button. Let's find users who have ordered one of these two products, but have not closed their balance. Since we want to find students who have ordered either elementary school junior engineers or middle school apprentice engineers and have not paid, We'll want to make sure that our first set of conditions in a filter block has the OR button and that our unpaid condition is in a separate filter block so that it can apply to either of the conditions above separately. You can save this and other filters to quickly run again by clicking the green Save Filter button above the filter blocks you've created. To find saved filters, click the search bar and click Saved Filters. You can also click Recent Filters to find those that you've recently run. Now that we've filtered for our specific users, it's time to run a report. To run a report, you can select some or all of your filtered or non-filtered users, click Reports, and select the report you'd like to run. Note that for family or group systems, you can create reports on the head level, subunit level, or both. The system will pull the appropriate users for you. If you have run a family or group report, you'll easily be able to navigate between the two levels using the same tabs that you saw in Users. You can sort the report here or download your report by clicking the green Download button here to receive a CSV file that you can open in Excel or a spreadsheet program of your choosing. Like everywhere else in RegPack, RegPack Flow will follow you where you go. When you run a report, you'll still be able to access the user panel by clicking on any registrant's name. From there, you can make changes to their information, 
add products, leave comments, and much more by navigating these tabs. View our other tutorials for additional questions on setting up reports, emails, products, and other items. And don't forget to reach out to our lovely support team at support at if you need any assistance.